What's up, YouTube fam, and welcome back to the channel. It is your girl, Gabrielle, and we are back today to stuff our savings challenges plus our debt snowball for week three in April. Super excited. We have the hefty snowball stuff today, and I am adding a new savings challenge, so it's going to be so fun. Stay tuned. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Gabrielle. If you're interested in the content you see today, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me. I would love to have you in the community. You will see me cash stuffing, digging my family out of debt, and all the things money. So let's go ahead and get into it. Forgot to mention, if you're already subscribed, if you're coming back, thank you so much. So guys, we're going to be stuffing a total of $630 today. We're going to count our cash real quick to make sure we have the right amount. <laughs> and we do have a prop 500 today. You can only imagine where that one is going. So we have 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 600, 610, 615, 620, 625, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. 630 dollars is good. Let's get in the cash tray real quick. All right, guys, we are back and ready to attack the envelopes today. We're going to start with my savings challenge binder as usual. I hope everyone is doing well, you guys. I am still like on my social media break, you guys. It has been eye opening for sure. I have not watched any videos. I have not, I haven't even opened the Instagram app. It just seems unreal. So I will be back tomorrow, Monday. I'm super excited to join back in and be watching all the content and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and stuff my first challenge of the day, and that is Secure the Bag. You guys, Secure the Bag is only getting about $10 today because it's a slim week for your girl. It is a slim week. My saving challenges are not getting that much, but every little bit adds up, trust me. So if you're not familiar with the Secure the Bag saving challenge, it's a saving challenge put on by your girl yours truly and it is the boss up secure the bag saving challenge for those big goals for the year 2022 i plan on saving about ten thousand dollars to do a real estate investment and i'm doing it a thousand at a time and hopefully we're going to get there so today we're not going to be filling the bag but i did just want to bring out the printable so you guys can see it is available on my etsy shop if you are interested so today we're going to be adding ten dollars so let's take this ten and add it in, see how much we have total and secure the bag. So we have 500, 600, 620, 640, 650, 655, 660. So 660 dollars and secure the bag today. Not bad at all, you guys. Like I said, a little bit adds up quickly. Next is gonna be our zero out challenge. And this is where I zero out my account each week in the month. You guys, this week was a surprise. You guys, my ending of my bank account was $70.28. So I only put in the last three digits. So that'll be $0.28. So I decided just to round it up. I said I was going to add some money to it, but you know what? It's a slim week. Um, so I am going to just put a dollar in there today. So it is what it is. So I'm going to fill in my tracker here. This is from Rochelle Adamson Budgets. And I love this challenge, you guys. It has added up. Even though it's very small amounts, it has added up. And I'm thinking maybe once I'm debt-free, which I have a debt-free date of hopefully June 2022 this year. So um, maybe I'll do, you know, maybe I'll start doing like the last four digits in once, once I'm debt-free. That'll be exciting. So um, this little bit adds up. We're going to put a dollar in today. Let me put my tracker to the side. So... Let's see how much we have in here now. So we have 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. So 61 dollars and zero out. And every week, like I said, every week is not gonna get a lot of money. It's just not. Max it out challenge, you guys. Today I am putting nothing into max it out challenge. And the reason why is because I had a goal to contribute $100 to this this month. I had a challenge from last month that I put $75 in there and then I added $25 this week. I mean, not this week, last week. So we are at, we should be at $100. Let's count it to make sure. But I um, started this max it out challenge to encourage and motivate everyone to start maxing out those IRAs this year. And that is my goal, to max out my Roth IRA this year. 
It's a Max It Out Challenge. It's available on my Etsy shop as well. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. So we have 100 and I'm going to put that into my Fidelity Roth IRA account this month. At the end of the month, I'm not even sure where to begin. I need to hit up Mommy Trader. <laughs> so I do... I am not sure where to begin on where to put it and all that good stuff, but I plan to find out because I am new to all this investing stuff, you guys, and I have been listening and just absorbing some content just to figure it out, but hopefully soon. So guys, we're not going to move on to that snowball, you guys. We have a new challenge this week, a new challenge. So let me go ahead and grab that and I'll be right back. All right, guys, here I am back with our new challenge. It is the save with a baddie savings challenge you guys i'm super excited to get started on this one i love my girl jasmine from baddies and budgets so i decided to go ahead and pick this up it's another type of scratch off challenge i'm loving all the scratch off challenges you guys i think on this one i am supposed to roll the dice and select the prize i'm not sure if we're supposed to be rolling dice with the jasmine and doing hers or we're just supposed to roll the dice on our own. So I have a little die here that I'm going to roll on my own today. <laughs> and I'm going to see what she's doing in her videos soon. Once I, once I catch up on videos, you guys, I told you I have not been watching any videos. So I don't know what is going on in these budget YouTube streets, y'all. <laughs> so here is the Saving with Batty challenge. I'm going to roll my die. You guys, this is a dice that I found for my kids in their play stuff and yeah this is the best i could do so let's roll it and see what we get okay that was not a good one let's let's do that again four i hope you guys can see that and i'm in framing stuff so four i think the baby may have chewed on this one but you know it is what it is so four is what we got and i think we're supposed to scratch off the four fourth box so one two three four let me go ahead and scratch that off and I'll put the amount that we have. So, oh, the amount is only $8. I thought I got like the premium one. Maybe I got the, the smaller one. So $8 is what we are supposed to be stuffing into saving with Betty today. And you guys, I don't even think I have increments of eight. So what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna round that up to $10. So. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put that there because um, my other denominations are for, you know, other, are they for other challenges? Y'all, I'm not even sure. Don't, don't get me on her line. <laughs> so we're just going to round that up to, do we, are we supposed to round that up? I don't think so. So I, you know, I'll round, I'll, we'll do eight. We'll do eight today. Sorry, y'all, false alarm. So we have five, six, seven, eight, and we're gonna put that in there. This tracker doesn't necessarily fit inside of the binder, like in the envelope. So I'm just gonna put it right here. And you know what? Y'all, bear with me. As I think that I am going to scratch off another one. Let's let's roll the dice again. And I, I know I'm crazy. <laughs> And this is not, this was not planned at all. So let's see. Let's roll this dice again. See what we get. We got one. So let's roll the one. Let's let's see what the one is. Because I kind of want to put a little bit more money to this, you guys. Okay, so 10. So that's $18. $18. We'll take it. We will take it. So we'll do 18 in there. So I'll take a 10. So... We have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, going into save with a baddie challenge. Slide it on in. And we will put this in the back and let's just put the $18 there. All right, so $18 for the first week on Saving with Batty Challenge. And this is 12 weeks, and I'm just going to do this hopefully every week. I love the guesswork of seeing, you know, I have a set amount of money set aside for my um, saving challenges. And then we'll see exactly what we actually stuff. You know, I like that surprise element of it. At first, I was like, I don't see how people do that. But if you have a certain amount and you know your challenges aren't going to be over that amount, then we're good to go. 
So let's see. We have 10. Uh, the rest of this is going, all of this is going into our debt snowball. We'll count it in a sec. But the rest of this is going into our 50 50 saving challenge. So we have 10, 15, 21. And I think you guys, we had $21 last week that we put to our 50 50 envelope. So this is another challenge that your girl's participating in. It is by your girl Tina from A Pink Cloth Life. And you basically have 100 envelopes, but you use stuffing them in increments of 50. So I am using a saving challenge from my girl Salinthia and Kathy J, Cassie J Budgets on in, on Etsy. <laughs> Y'all can't talk today, but go ahead and check out their shop if you want to pick this up. This is actually a 52 week challenge and I just um, rigged it to fit how I, my, my preferences. So we have $21 and I have to split that amongst some of these envelopes, you guys. So I have to come up with seven, let's see, a way to split out 21. All right, guys, so it took me a second, but I figured it out. We're going to do a 12 and a nine to get us to 21 today. So we're gonna actually stuff two envelopes here and, and slide those in there. So let's get those stuff real quick. We'll do, you know what? I'm just gonna split them up like this, even though, you know, I don't have the right denominations, but it's gonna be, um, that's what I'm gonna color in on my sheet so that it all makes sense. And when I unstuff it, it'll be, you know, the certain amount of money. So nine and 12. So that worked out. <laughs> um, let's get them in there, you guys. And I feel like I was all out of frame on that, but it is what it is. So, here we are going in there, y'all. This is so stuffed. And I've been, like I said, I, every week I'm ready to unstuff this, but it's not time yet. It's just not time. So for nine is going to get colored in right here. Let me color that in real quick. And while I'm coloring, I like to take the time just to see how everyone is doing. Um, I miss you guys so much. Um, just going through this little social media break that I have. You guys, I have been spending a lot of time with family. Um, I'm starting kind of like not to be, put so much pressure on myself to do things. <laughs> and I think that's a good thing. Like, just like enjoy life a little bit. I feel like I always feel a little bit anxious. Um, like preparing for my next video, et cetera, et cetera. Sorry, you guys, I grabbed my other uh, thingy, my other marker for number 12, which is right here. And yeah, I I just been feeling like a lot less anxious about, you know, putting content out. I feel like I'm just, honestly, y'all just relax, relax with this break. So, but I am ready to get back. Like my sister, she's like gonna extend her. Me and my sister decided to do social media break together because we felt like we were just consuming way too much content and so forth. Um, so she said she wants to extend hers. I'm not, I can't extend mine, y'all. <laughs> I love um, my community, especially the budget community. That's really the main social media that I'm on, but sometimes I can get overwhelmed with that. So anyways, you guys, 50-50 money saving challenge is complete for the week. And all of our money is stuffed. I think I stuffed a total amount of like $50 into all of my savings challenges. And we're going to get into our debt snowball right now. And I think this video is going to be longer than I expected it to be. So debt snowball is going to get $580 today. So let's count this and make sure we have 580 in here, 500, 520, 540, 560, and 580. So we do have $580. And let's pull out what we already have because we have stuffed a little bit of money. And we will see how much we have total so far to go to our debt snowball. And y'all, this isn't counting our money that we already have put to the side, like just to pay our regular card notes. So that's automatically taken out and I have not paid and I have, I have not put that inside of my debt snowball envelope. All right, so let's count it up and see how much we have total. 500, 600, 700, 750, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 920, 940, 950, 60, 70, 75, and 80. 980 going toward our debt 
snowball so far this month so i'm super excited you guys my goal amount for this month is a total of two thousand dollars to go to our debt snowball um well not debt snowball to our debt total so that is it for the stuffing i am going to update my debt diary real quick so stay with me guys stay with me so we can see where we are via our goals and let's turn over to the month of april and if you have not heard about the debt diary it is a debt payoff planner that i created to help me track plan set goals regarding my debt it is solely specifically for debt and you guys i absolutely love it it has kept me on track it keeps me you know coming back to the right places that i need to go and just staying motivated on this journey so my debt payoff goal this month is $2,000. Where target debt is our car loan too. I did want to go ahead and go over my thoughts and feelings this month. I'm just feeling very close to the end of the road. And I'm feeling a little bit anxious about getting it done. Like I've been thinking, and if you have not seen one of my past videos, I think it was a video before last, I was talking about whether I should take some money from my emergency fund or not. So, you know, I just been thinking about that, like just to be done with it quicker and so forth, or just truck along. So I'm feeling indecisive as well. So I'm feeling anxious about that, feeling indecisive and all these emotions. Like I feel like it's close. I'm not feeling you guys like super excited. I'm really not feeling that excited this month, but um, I have been paying off debt for three months, you know, in 2022. So I was fired up at the beginning of the year to get it done and we are doing it. So anyways... Today, we're going to fill in our thermometer here. Um, it's our tracker just to keep you on track for how much we have paid off throughout these Saving Challenge Sunday debt snowball videos on Sunday. So my quote for the month is start where you are, use what you have and do what you can. That is so true. It's no, There's no minimum amount that you can start paying off debt. You can pay an extra $20 on debt every month. That will save you guys so much over a long time. So start where you are, use what you have and do what you can. Okay, so today we are at $980, but you guys, we have put aside our payment, which is $440. So if you add those two, we get $1,420 so far. So I'm going to fill in all the way up to our $1,400 amount, and we have not too much. We have, we have a few hundred dollars left to get to our goal. So I'm just going to fill this in real quick. And I All right, guys, we are done and done. We have a total of 70% of our debt paid off this month. If you have not seen the debt diary, you, know, you want to grab it, go ahead and go buy my Etsy shop. I have discounted it permanently um, since we are done with the first quarter of the year. So you can grab it at a discounted rate now as well and get started on your debt journey. Guys, it's never too late to get started. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on my next one, which should be my week four cash stuffing you guys so thank you guys so much and i will be back to comment like share and do all of the videos this week i miss you guys and i thank you guys for the support along this way still tuning into my videos and so forth so i will see you on the next one bye guys love you